here with Kate Doughty in her gallery, and I'd like to ask you to tell us a little bit about your work. I'm really impressed by the color play and the texture of your pieces. Okay, well thank you. Well I do like playing with color and I'm very interested in texture. I think quilts should be, or wall hangings anyway, need to be tactile. I think they have to have a quality where you need to want to reach out and touch it. Um, and I guess I get that by doing a lot of stitching on it. I have a lot of raw edges. Um, mm that kind of thing and add on lots of bits, sometimes hand stitch. Um, the colours that you're seeing here are very much the colours that I see in the landscape and seascape around me. Mm. Though I must say that one I'll see isn't usually as blue as that one over there. It's oh. usually much more grey. A little artistic um, licence there. Just a bit, yes. yes. <laughs> um, the fields change all the time. We have a lot of, I live in an area with a lot of small green fields, pasture land. Um, and the colours change a lot, depending whether the sheep have grazed them recently and that kind of thing. Um, but no sheep in your quilts. <laughs> no, not, <laughs> more not very often, very rarely. Um, yeah. But we also have, I live on um, a, a part of the south coast, which is called the Jurassic Coast, mm. um, where we have absolutely stunning, towering cliffs, and mm. the colour of the cliffs changes very much from... Um, a sort of beige through ochre through to orange depending on the time of day and, and the light. what the sun's doing mm. on it. Yes, right. so when the sun's setting they can go very orange. Mm. And sometimes you get them with an absolutely stunning blue sky. Not very often in Britain, mm -hmm. but it does happen. <laughs> mm. And um, that just makes such an impact because you've got that wonderful colour with the orange of the cliffs and the blue mm. of the sky. Yeah. So you spoke about how often in Britain you don't have the bright colors because of the light. Mm -hmm. And I think here uh, behind you is a great example of that. Yes. Kind of a gray-blue piece. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the textures? And it looks like you have some cheesecloth with the kind of raggedy edges there. Is that exactly. what Exactly. I've got mm -hmm. on here um, what we call scrim mm -hmm. and um, also some silk chiffon oh. in there just to, again, all roughly cut because um, I like all these frayed edges and that's, mm. I think, adds to the texture because I find it very difficult to try and um, capture the movement of mm. the sea. I mean, it's always changing. You right. want to kind of... Um, it's just hard to... I can keep going for ages. There are all yeah. sorts of different ways of doing it, but you still never get there and get it exactly the way it looks mm. because it's always moving. Right. Like this piece behind us here. Yeah. And this is very interesting with all the little bits of layered color and different yarn and threads and then the open segments. Can you tell us about your process on this piece? Yes, this was made in, I don't know, there's probably 12, 13 different sections. So some of the pieces are quite small. Uh -huh. um, the little scraps of fabric is because I'm just too mean to throw them away. So <laughs> I um, have these polythene bags full of little tiny scraps. Um, on this, I've got a backing fabric, which is cotton. I've got some wadding on top of that. And all these little scrappy bits, I just stitch on top um, as I go. And I'm building it up as I go. So I start with a palette of little scraps of fabric, a palette of colors to work with. Um, this was made in a lot of different sections, as you can see. Um, I wanted that kind of rolling movement. Um, and then these pieces are all just tied together. Well, it's um, so all these are just knots to tie all the sections together. There's no other stitching that goes through and joins those pieces. Mm. And I quite like having the, um, the holes left in it. Yeah, it's I like it too. Thank and you. I'm just going to mention for our U.S. Uh, viewers that wadding is, is what batting. we call bat yes. batting. It yes. is. But I like wadding. I like that word. You like that? <laughs> Good. <I do. laughs> well, thank you for showing us That's your work. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.